over this meeting bless your people teach them to prosper and at the end of this meeting let only your name be glorified thank you father for in Jesus name we have prayed for in Jesus name we have prayed can I say something to you my people of God according to the present research 99% of human beings are poor 99% according to recent research 99 or should I say only 1% of the world population is wealthy let me not say you know because there are average people alright there are average people among that 99 so only 1% only one, one, just one, one percent, one percent of the whole, whole population of the world are wealthy. One percent, just one percent, one percent. Can I just pray for you because I consider that we are mixing both together, both business meeting and also spiritual. That in the name of Jesus, whether the enemy like it or not. We will be among that 1% very, very soon. And that amen, I want you to just mean it with your heart. In the name of Jesus. 1%. Just 1. 1%. 1%. Hmm. 97% of the problem on earth according to that research shows that it was caused by money related issue what did i say 97 percent of problems that we are having in this world are money related money related issue money related issue 97 percent Are you listening to me? So that you can pay attention. Now. <clears throat> what majority of people are looking for in this world. Are practically money. Let me ask a very few questions. Very straightforward questions. Based on that research. What is prostitute looking for? Tell me. Tell me. Pleasure. No, no. You are not talking. What are they looking for? Okay, what is scammers looking for? Are, are you sure? What arm robbers? What are they looking for? No, I'm, I, I think I'm the only one that is not getting it right. What about ritualist? Ah, Yahoo, Nkon. Yahoo plus, minus, negative. What are they looking for? Politicians. So I now wonder why I see church people. You are looking for God and you are forgetting that the major reason why you are even looking for that God is not because you love that God. It's because of money. I'm telling you. We are not meant to love money but we are to have money. Praise the Lord. When you, when you minus money from people's problem, go and check it. You see that the problem is what? Has reduced, isn't it? Now, let me just quickly go. <laughs> because I have so many. Thank God they are giving me two sessions. Alright? And my time is all, always on our side. Now, for us, let, let's first of all look at why should we do business? Why? Why should we do business? Says number one, let's write something down. Number one reason why we must make money is that money reduces our prayer point. Are, are you right? Hmm? It reduces. Go and check your prayer point. That prayer point, 42 prayer point you have. Go and check majority. 
money related issue number two can we look at scripture are we allowed to look at scripture okay let's look at proverb chapter 19 verse 7 proverb 19 verse 7 can we look at it i want us to see number two proverb 19 let's read it one two go all the borders of what the poor do what how much more do his friend go far from him he may pursue them with what yet they will see what abandon him number two poverty make you to be hated by a lot of people the reason why people hate you the reason why you don't see much people around you is because you don't have money let money come you see people your neighbor hates you because you don't have money can I say something to you no matter your Queen's English if you go to any family meeting and your voice is the loudest nobody listen to you even your family will hate you among your mother's children if you don't have money you won't have say you think I'm joking okay go and practice it go and just do some little practical and supply your parents money throughout the months every week mommy I'm daddy I'm giving you 20,000 20, and you are by the end of that month you have given 100,000 then you will hear that they will have changed they will even call all your brother to go and take advice from you you know why because of money because most of us don't know the reason why we need to just do business now can I say something to you while I was praying for us concerning this meeting the Lord said don't go there and encourage them go there and provoke them they must make money you must make money can you tell yourself I must make money I must make money, must make money. no matter how you are very nice in church if you are not even bringing money to church you are not helping with in terms of money huh? let me not say much because we are not in church gathering <laughs> hallelujah now number three reason why money is important is because poverty is the major or root cause of marital problems when you see people who are married always having issue always having issue no matter how spiritual you are huh? without money you will keep having the issue most divorces today is as a result of no money money is important and according to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 money also validates our redemption in Christ look at it can you can you read it yourself read it yourself one to go no you are not reading no only one person is reading one to go the grace of our Lord that one uh -huh. Uh -huh. he said be, he became poor that through his poverty you must what so if you see anybody preaching to you that uh, money is not important all these pastors all these people all these people all that people I am telling you money is important you have to make money you have to make money and I'm going to tell you the, ma the ma majority of the problem why so many of us you know I was praying here I think about two days ago concerning this program as well and the Lord tell me you can write it down the major reason why so many of us can't do business and ensure that we do it to the end is because there is no spirit of entrepreneur anyone without that spirit can't do business for long am I speaking to somebody 
when the spirit of business is not in you even if they give you 10 billion to start business once you get to where your passion stop huh? you will just end it hallelujah so it's very important you must understand number five why what is the purpose of money God will never bless us beyond hear this God will never bless you beyond the level you can promote his kingdom he will never take you beyond the level you can promote his kingdom because the purpose of money in your hand you must know because a lot of time when money comes to us we don't even know why God is giving us that money so for God to take you to the next level in terms of money you must further on recognize that his kingdom must be factored in must be what? factored in in Mark, of, in Mark that's gospel of Mark chapter 13 I think verse 10 Mark 13 verse 10 said he said that he said the gospel must be first preached so when money comes to your hand is the gospel first preached from it look at it the gospel first preached now in Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 Zechariah 1 17 because some of us we are thinking that ah, why is God not blessing me because we have not aligned these thoughts together look at it say again proclaim saying thus says the Lord my city my church shall be yet again spread where spread throughout with what through what prosperity there is no way we can plant another church there is no way we can go and do crusade there is no way we can go and do evangelism correctly there is no way we can reach out to the widow there is no way we can bless the poor without prosperity without money no way so God will never bless you beyond the capacity to wish you can reach out to that kingdom so there are this one that hey I want to do business God you have to be in this business ah is the business promoting the kingdom is the business promoting the kingdom and in Agai chapter 1 if you read you know time will not permit me because we are not here to just load but I'm telling you the spiritual aspect because by the time sister patient come now and also see load us then we need to go out there and start at once hallelujah in that guy chapter 1 verse 4 to 11 God said look at these people they left my house they want to they, everybody is minding their business he said I will show them God himself a guy 1 verse 4 to 11 look at it say is it time for yourself look at it let's read it is it time for you yourself to dwell in your own house and this what this temple this gospel lies in ruin that's God speaking though. we are reading the Bible now therefore don't said the Lord of those consider your way you have what so much and bring what little bring little to where to the, to the gospel all right you eat and you do not you do not have enough you drink or you do not feel with drink you clothe yourself but no one is warm and he went with Jesus look at it just read it down to 11 so you must understand why I am looking for money I am doing business because by the time I start with us because I will I, I'm going to end this message now with wisdom alright wisdom for generating passion for business because we need wisdom you can't be doing business just the way other people are doing it you need to apply wisdom to everything you are doing hallelujah okay number six God wants to put money in our hand because he wants us to be a blessing 
God wants us to start that business because he wants to use that business to reach out to other people by creating business, by creating job. So many of us, you know, ah, I didn't have time. I have a lot of notes. One of the things that they have done to us in this part of the world is our mindset. Oh. The mindset they push to us is just for us to go to school, finish school, take your certificate, get a job, and that is all. Which is very wrong. It's a wrong curriculum that we must end it. I vow that if this church is going to start school, eh, from primary three to the level that the class will be, every time they must have entrepreneur as a curriculum. People must develop their own business. So this morning, I'm not encouraging you. I want to, I want to get you provoked so that you can go out there and make money. Remember the last edition I told us. I said, <clears throat> even if you know how to pray, and you are praying that God should free you right from bondage. If you are spiritually free and you are not financially free, bondage is still there, sir. Because when, you are, when they are talking money, you will just see that you that you are just don't deliver. You are scratching your head. So we must make money as Christians. We must. We must. Hallelujah. So God wants us to be a blessing. Genesis 12 verse 2, Galatians 16. I write it down. And 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. Maybe we can project that. Alright? 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. Number 7. To help the needy. We are to make money in order to help the needy. So you doing business is not just about solving your own problem. It's about doing that business because God knows that any money that comes to my hand, he knows how I will spend it. So that's why I won't stop the flow. I noticed that there is one of the there is one of these biblical covenant I activated. Giving. Because what God taught me last year is you can give, but if your giving is not consistent, your receiving will not be consistent. Just take it. I'm telling you the truth. So I now discovered ah, 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 the alert I received this week, just only one. So ah, what happened? God taught me. I'm telling you the truth. So that you have to compare yourself that no, it's not about me. This business is not about me. It's about helping other people. It's about creating business for other people. Hallelujah. So to help the needy, Proverbs 19, verse 17. Proverbs 9, I like particular scripture. He said, He that help the poor, lend it to the Lord. Meaning that God is owing you already. Hallelujah. Look at it. He who has what? Pity on what? What has he done? He lent to the Lord. So God is owing you. When you see people helping other people, God is already owing that person. Hallelujah. And the next one is in order to establish the dominion of the saint here on earth. You know, when God created us, huh? he gave us dominion, which is power. And one of such is wealth. Are you getting what I'm saying now? For, your, for you to really enjoy your dominion. Your dominion is not just only to do some other things. So your dominion also is also to make money. You are to be in control of wealth. You are to be in control of what? Of money. Of money. And I told us last edition that wealth is not gotten just by practice or because you are doing business. Wealth is given by spirit. I'm telling you, wealth anyone that is wealthy know what they are doing they know where their money is coming from so how do you think look at this it's, it's just a time we know i will have shown you some documentary how do you think the gate will make 100 billion how will the gate make 100 billion huh watch you 
and gave out 80 billion out as charity. Do you think it's very stupid? How do you think Dangote will make, for instance, 1 billion? And out of it, 800, 800 million has gone for charity. You think they don't know what they are doing? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, you must first of all understand the source of your wealth. And I told you, I said, every spirit you can worship have power to bless you. That's why you see that the first test, one of the first tests devil gave to Jesus is to carry him and show him all the wealth of this world. He has forgotten that he's talking to the creator himself. He said, look at all of this. If you can bow down and worship me. Just about yesterday, I saw one of my uh, mentor's video. He said, Illuminati sent a message to him to come and join them. I, are you getting what I'm saying now? If you can bow. So who are you bowing for? If every business go down with your own still remain, so these are the things that we must take note of. Let's let's just move straight to let's move straight to wisdom now. Because it's very important that we understand the wisdom behind business. It's not just about starting business. It's about understanding the wisdom that surround it. And number one wisdom that I want to talk about today is faith. What did I say? Ah, faith, 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 faith. 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 We hear the same word. You and I. We used to hear the same word. Preacher will preach to us. People talk to us. How come the word produce this different result in our lives? Oh, you didn't get what I'm saying. As you are sitting down here now, I have, I have Victor now. Victor, let's laugh for Victor. Victor, stand up. Let them see you. Look at him. He, he has his own business now. He's going to launch it very soon. And all of us, I will invite all of you to come and see. He keep on listening. Two of them came. Two of them came. The other one said he want to do uh, dancing. Then he focus on knowing God first. He knew God, then moved to business now. The other one now left what he was doing, started following other things. And today we can't even know where he is. But look at Victor. Can we just celebrate Victor? You know, the other day <laughs> when he went for training, because some of us don't know as you are sitting here, you are you are you are going through training. You must learn. You must learn. You know, when he went for training, he said he went for an interview. You can have your seat. He went for an interview. He didn't go there with any CV. You know why? Because what they need is there. Is there, not in the paper. Is there. Negotiating salaries. Salary that they can't even offer master degree holder. Negotiating with them. Why? Because of wisdom. Come on, say wisdom. It's only a fool that despises wisdom. Can we have Proverbs 24? Proverbs 24 verse 3 in maybe Passion Bible. TPT. Let's have it. In Passion Bible. Okay. Can we read it together? I want to go. Praise the Lord. Ah, Let's read it now. Wait. Some of us have not joined. Let's read the word of God now. Uh-huh. One. Uh-huh. 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 Are you seeing that? You cannot build any business at the expense of wisdom. You need to know the wisdom required to build business. You know, I went to Ghana in 2018. I went back again in 2019 simply because I love the knowledge that I caught there. So I went back there. And the, 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 there's this particular man teaching us, Bish, uh, Bishop Doug Ewa Mills. The only thing I was hearing in that conference is that, go back and build. Go back and build. Go back and build. That's what I was just hearing. Do you know why? 
that thing was touching me because we were under the canopy when I went to that conference. Go back and build. So when we were praying, I will be telling our prayer team, we need to build. We need to build. We start praying. Because it's not about hearing that you should go back and build. You need to know the wisdom behind it. And after prayer, much prayer, the Lord said to me, for you to build, huh? he said, go and build the people, then the people will build the church. Then it was as a result of that, in 2019, 2020, we started Bible school, we started business summit, we started discipleship training class, we started so many training, because that was the way you can build in the kingdom. Make disciples. And today, we didn't even bother how God will now build. We're just focusing on building the people. Hallelujah. So wisdom is what is required. And the first one I said is what? Is faith. Let me just tell us. You know, I told us, I said, two of us can hear the same word. Alright? But the result will be dif different, right? Let me show us. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Hebrew 4 2. Let's quickly look at it. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 2. Ah, I have so many things to tell us. So many. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 2. Two of them, two of us can hear the same word, but we have different results. Let's read. Want to go? Take it to New King James. New King James. Or maybe King James. Maybe King James. Okay, let's read it now. For indeed, the gospel is preached to you and me, uh -huh, as well as to them. He said, but the word, but the word which they heard did not what? It didn't profit them. Why? Not what? Their own was not missed with what? With faith. So if you come here and what you had has not, you know, has not pulled your faith in order to do something. You are not getting it right. Hallelujah. So how do you know? Because some of you will say, me, I have faith. Me, I have faith. Me, I have faith. I have faith to do business. I have faith to do this. I have faith to do that. Can I show you three ways in which you will know that you have faith to do business? Let me just show you. One. Number one. Faith shows in your obedience. Faith shows in your obedience. Number two. Faith shows in our action. Let me welcome my friend, uh, Apostle Austin. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Faith shows in what? In our obedience, in our action, and in our utterances. What we say, what we speak. Faith. When they are talking about business, you don't just hear something and you, it dies here. So as you are here now, at the back of your book, eh, at the back of that book with you, write big like this, write action. Action means that the things I will do after I leave this place, write it. Action. Action. Write it. That is number one. So for you to write it means that you obey me. Then secondly, as you are writing those things, you go home and put them to practice. Now, why do, why do I even have to mention this? Because Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, Isaiah 1 19, he said, whosoever that is willing, it's not everybody. All of you may not be willing. Look at it. If you are what? If you are what? And what? And you will do what? Uh -huh. So, please pay attention to that. Then your utterances one, I know that one day we are going to be having this kind of conference in Dubai, America, different places because I know the people God is sending to us are rich people billionaire. we are going to be raising millionaires among us very very soon in the name of Jesus so you must understand that your utterances matter what you say about yourself what you say about your business it doesn't matter where you are starting from God said he want to fill the whole earth with human beings but did he start with 100 people he started with 2 he started with 2 so wisdom is profitable in business so what are those 
other wisdom that we need to know hallelujah let me give us another one opportunity what is opportunity you know in Nigeria people believe that Nigeria is too populated yes or no that Nigeria is full with so many problems isn't it but can I tell you in the eyes of a businessman every problem is an opportunity to start a business so most of us all of those problems that we have been seeing around us we are ignoring we are neglecting do you know that there are opportunities for you to start something do you know how many opportunities that will have slip you by on weekly basis simply because you don't know so the problem for some of us is how to convert those problems to opportunity and that's why we are here this morning and I pray that God will reach out to somebody in the name of Jesus I say in the name of Jesus so you must be able to recognize opportunity opportunity will not say see me oh, I am opportunity once you just hear that it's a problem once you just hear that there is a problem oh maybe can, can I say something to you do you know that in this street now they don't have water this street they don't have water ordinary water as a church church is a social place we can put water here and start selling i hope you know that we will never do that all right but an individual can do it if you look at all that man say hey, okay this okay let them fetch 10 times and pay 100 naira. that do you know that that can solve somebody's house rent for <laughs> for that year praise the Lord, can solve a lot of problem so you must find out anytime you go to anywhere, look for just be looking for problem the reason why you are always afraid of problem is because I told you earlier that the reason why a lot of us can't do business is because the spirit of entrepreneur is not, is not in us are, are you getting me now? and I'm going to dissect it shortly because of my time hallelujah Number three, or is it number four? Number three. The major reason why so many of us can't also do business is mindset. 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 <laughs> Big Gate says something. He said, if you are born poor it is not your fault but if you die poor you see yourself dying and you, you see yourself growing like this and you are still becoming poor he says it's your fault it's your fault it's one of those people I gave you as an example Bigge started business at the age of 13 Dan Gote started business at the age of 8 he said he went to school all the sweets they gave to him he started selling them making money he went to school he went to university at the age of 20 he started business can i shock you lg how many of us know lg what is lg huh life is good that's not the original name uh, the original name is lucky and go star they are from korea these guys started business from plastic industry they started with cream just the way the tema is making cream they started with cream. Go and go Google. I'm not saying what you cannot go and find out. They started with cream. So what you start with does not matter. Your mindset is the problem. Your mindset is the problem. Started with cream. Cream. Makeup. How come they now move from Mary, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Makeup to electronics how come how many of us know apple phone apple apple product apple started in a garage of steve job see job i think it was around i think it was around 16 years when they started or 20 with the other steve maybe steve hawkins tea or something he said after their room could no longer occupy them they started in a garage and what were they doing 
they were making some small small programs that was where they started apple from apple and it was not apple then it was programming they are trying to do what can you start now and what you start now doesn't determine your future you can change later you can Dangote started with buying and selling of a uh, food store they said he borrowed three thousand dollars from his paternal father that's the husband of the mother so it means that maybe that's not his biological father he borrowed money from them started like that and he started trading started buying food and food stuff that's why for any of you who want to start business please start from things that people cannot do without write it starting business from what autonomous things you can now list them to your own this thing food food stuff uh, palm oil just start something mindset hallelujah what's the next point now the next point is knowing the meaning of business the reason why majority of us are not doing business is because we don't know the meaning of business if you know the meaning of business then you will be able to do it let me give us my own definition of business business means your ability to create write it to underline create improve underline improve package and say your value in exchange for money what are the key words there number one create what can you create I told us the last edition if you are not creating business if you are not creating wealth you are creating problem you can't you can't live in vacuum if you are not solving problems sorry you are creating problem you can't be in between and say i me, i'm a problem mm -mm -mm. if you are not solving problem you are creating problem so what can you create what can you improve on if you are not the one that created it you know i saw i saw a very typical example of something in this idea i saw that they used to sell this popcorn inside transparent lilo in Naja, 15 era then if you go down you now see another one they are package it sell it 100 naira. but all of a sudden i think it's now 1000 they now make it bigger a bit package it inside something and sell so many of us know where they are doing those things you may not start with production you can start with supply you can negotiate you can go to people do you know most of the things you are buying online we are not buying from the real owner you can be a middleman and still make your money you can you can so you can improve on it you package and you know the branding and sell it what's the other thing i want us to say this morning is desire and zeal what number are we desire and zeal the reason why majority of us are not doing business or we are tired of business is because we don't have these two together if you only have desire you will soon pack up the business zeal must be there what is desire desire is witches it can be your passion but what is zeal zeal is your drive you are pushing it you want to you want to ensure that you do something your inner drive what's the next point to say how to manage the business so many of us don't know how to manage business when in the next session i'll talk about how to manage business but let me just give us brief about how to manage business where is pastor joseph okay let me give pastor Clinton to pick this call somebody is coming to meet us here give, praise the lord how 
to manage business number one thing you must know before you start managing business is that you must know what make up the business how what what make up your business number one skill write it skill what skill are you bringing to the business two capacity number three cash flow four continuity let me quickly explain that what is the skill skill is your expertise in what you do how you do it what make you different from other people praise the lord i've seen something very common that you two also know i discovered that there is actually difference between tailoring and fashion designer i gave clothes to tailor then i couldn't wear it i w i only wore it once praise the lord then i gave cloth to fashion designer i in fact i barely wear it because i too much like the way they sew it i don't know whether it happened to you the difference between the two of them is their skill so you must be ready to learn about what you are doing that business you must know the detail the last interview of dangote i watched he was talking about how he started he said see let me advise you young people that anytime you make up your mind you want to do any business you must know the detail of the business don't go into any business that you don't know the details you don't know the secrets because that's what will give you money then capacity what is capacity capacity is who you are personal development can i say something to you so many of us we are praying for rain oh lord rain 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 bring rain now bring rain now and when the rain come what you have inside your house is cup is that not a waste of prayer cup to receive it so as you are praying to god to bless the business you must expand your capacity and let me tell you the first way to expand your capacity is personal development you must develop yourself the place you must invest most of the money on should be you your brain your mind the way you think then cash flow talk about how to control money some of us don't know how to control money some people think you know there are some some of my pastor friends say ah that's how did you do all of this they thought maybe some of our member will just write check of five million these people are also see trials they are i won't say they are struggling they are praying that god should bless them but one of the things that help us in this church is how we manage that money because if you don't know how to manage money that comes to you you will have abused god until you go back to your alert and start checking how money has become you see how you have been wasting money hallelujah let me just i won't say all of them let, let me just mention some of the few things other one is factor of production you must know factors that you require to produce and to sell your product and it has changed you how many of us know the factor of production it taught us in school land labor and what capital it has changed now social media is one of them everything you need your customer or anything now is on social media you want to do any business please you must invest in social media that's what me and my friend were just discussing here just now social media then they thought the the fifth one i mean i mean dimension now land labor capital and uh huh? i said social media then the last one is partnership can i say something to you how does partnership come into your business listen to me anything you can do successfully from one year to seven years that doesn't pay back i cannot take care of itself are you hearing me it requires partner it can't be only just you again you need more people that cannot finance itself anymore for five years please you need more partner let people come and invest their money and negotiate on how you give back to them are you getting what i'm saying now let me just round up with this let me round up with this let me round up with this value the last thing i will say here is value value what 
will bring money to you are you listening to me it's value don't seek to make money seek to sell your value do you know they were asking Dangote one question the other day they said eh, that the, are you aware that you will become the richest black man he said he's not aware he said but the only thing he knew was that if he can get his products and services to every home ah, you may not like Dangote Dangote is not even a Christian praise the Lord he's not even a Christian but I can assure you that some of you, you see Ed Dangote last night. He has salt. He has sugar. He has cement. He, he produced spaghetti. Yeah? Uh, that's pasta. Abby. So many things. He knows you cannot do without him. Can I say something to you? If people can do without your product, it means you don't have value. So you must place value premium on what you are producing what you are producing must be able to compete with anything out there if not your case will be like the case of Milo Bonfita and Overtain which one do you think says more huh why always ask question why why do I need to do this business then the last thing I will just say before uh, is it question and answer next? Huh? No question. Okay, that's so. The next thing that you must also focus on is your customer. The reason why most people who, are, who want to do business or who is doing business are frustrated is because they never thought of their customer. Who is my customer? Who are the people I'm looking for in this business? There's something the thing, and again and again, don't forget this one business is not about what you like. Business is about you selling something that will bring money. So you can sell what you like. And what you like, people don't like it. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying now? That is not what people need. So value talks about what they need. That is of most important to them. The other day I entered in Marwa. The Marwa guy was just talking. He was just discussing. All the people there, they were not listening to him. But immediately they got to their bus stop. Where is my money? They pay him. They didn't like him, but they do what? They pay him. So they may not like you, but they will pay you if you have value. Let me just end here. We'll come back again in the second session. Can we just put our hands together for Jesus? Let's just